Hello, this is Jason at jcadusa.com here to give you some uh, instructional, quick instructional video about how to use eDrawings. So if you're working with JCAD, I would have sent you an eDrawings link by now. And um, if you install that, it only takes a few minutes to install and it's free. Um, after you install it, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be sending you an eDrawings file, which usually ends in EPRT or, or EASM. And if you double click on that file, it'll open up your eDrawings part. So this is just an example part. Um, some, uh, your, your part will be similar. It will just be a 3D file that you can view in any direction. And in order to do this, so some basic viewing functions is if you want to zoom in and out, it's just the, the wheel on your mouse. If you want to pan it around, you click and hold the wheel on your mouse and you can spin it around and look at it in whatever direction you want. Um, there's also these functions up here, move. You can move it anywhere. Uh, there's this, which is the same thing as uh, clicking your wheel on your mouse and spinning it around. So I guess if you don't have a wheel, then you would use this. Um, you can zoom in and out with this one. This zooms into a certain area. This fits it back on the screen. This looks at it head on in different directions. Um, and this shows it in wireframe. This one shows it shaded with wire, and this one shows it just shaded. But I find this one, it's hard to see edges, especially on more complex parts. Um, so I always like to turn on the wire, then you can see it a lot better. So for your project, what we're, what we're mainly going to be doing and focusing on is measuring your part to make sure that uh, the part is the size that you need it. Because what we don't want to do is 3D print or prototype your part or even mass produce say 10,000 pieces and find out that it's the wrong size. So obviously that's a disaster. Uh, so click on uh, measure tool and here you can measure in different units, whatever you prefer. Um, millimeters, centimeters is everything in here. So we'll just say inches for this, for this case. And then you can just start clicking on whatever you want. So if you click on this surface, um, from that surface to this surface, it tells you that it's two inches apart. And then to reset the measure tool, you just click off click off anywhere so like if I have that surface clicked and there was a r I didn't want to click that I just click off and it resets um, if you want to see f holes from there to there um, it's 2.75 in that direction 0.75 inches in that direction 2.85 from center to center um, so you can see if the hole positioning is correct you could say from this face to this hole uh, sorry From this face to this hole is it says down here it's half an inch from there to the center of that hole. Um, you could do the same thing over here. It's important to so when you want to find out where the position of the hole is, you have to click on the on the when it just highlights the top of the hole, not the actual hole. So from there to there, it's three quarters of an inch from there to the center of the hole. Um, you can see the hole size diameter is one inch. If you get this, it says it's one inch diameter by two inches deep. You can click on this surface and this surface, it tells you it's 45 degrees. Um, you can click on that edge and it tells you that radius or diameter is half an inch. You can click on points from that point to this point is three inches in that direction, two inches in that direction, or from point to point is 3.606 inches apart. Um, so yeah, so just go through your part, click on different surfaces, line, you can click on edges, that's four inches long, this is 1.414 long, from this edge to this edge, three by one inch, 3.162 apart. Um, so you can measure pretty much anything you want, uh, surface areas, uh, or from surface to surface, point to point, edge to edge, hole to hole, uh, surface to hole, wh whatever you want to measure, and just verify that your part is correct, because um, that's very important before we before we physically make the part. We want to make sure it's correct, and that's what e drawings is uh, is is great to to help solve that problem. Um, and then the other thing here is a section tool. So sometimes parts have internal features that you can't see very well outside. So you, if you use a section tool, you can see. 
So say if there was some kind of cavity inside here that you couldn't see from the outside, um, you'd be able to see it by sectioning the, the tool and you can measure everything uh, in the section. So you could click on measure and then measure while you're in section and, and see if the cavity was correct size or, or whatever you need to see. There's also different directions of section. You can change the direction over here with these, uh, these buttons. So that's pretty much it. E-drawings is pretty simple and straightforward. Um, but again, I'd like to stress that it's important that you check and measure your, your part before we 3D print it or prototype it or mass produce it. Um, so the more we can get, the more errors we can eliminate. So let's say, for example, this was four inches and, and we find out that the, the piece that the, maybe this is fitting into a, a space where it's three and a half inches and then we, we printed these, we 3D printed these or we, we make one of these and then we ship it. We could have figured that out before that, oh, it was supposed to be three and a half inches, not four inches. We could have sh shrunk it before by half an inch so that it'll fit. And obviously we save time and money by, by finding these errors before we, we make the parts. So just go through your part, take your time, and if you have any questions, you can uh, reply back anytime you want by email, jason at jcadusa.com. If you have any questions about how to use e-drawings or how to prototype or anything like that, or you can call anytime, it's 1-888-202-2052. And once again, this is Jason at JCAD USA with an instructional video for e-drawings. Thanks.